Hello my beautiful people, this is Stella with your Jamis. I hope you're doing well. Today I have a comparison of the four boroughs that I have in my collection. As you guys know, the borough is a very special um, magical house for me. I have had the Department 56 borough for two years, two years and a half now. Where did I put my Department 56 borough? So let me show you. I have been asked multiple times which piece of my collection it's my favorite and honestly every single time this borrow i love it i wasn't even collecting the apartment 56 when i got this one i just wanted to have a borrow in my collection and uh funko had came out with their borough late 2020 and i got this one before that so i didn't even knew funko was gonna make a borrow and even after funko came out with theirs which i have right here I honestly still prefer the Department 56 one. I'm pretty happy. I obviously went for it as fast as I could. I remember when Funko dropped these, they actually sat on the website for a couple of days or weeks. And Funko headquarters had this one that came with Molly for months after it was released. And now that she's completely sold out, it's worth like $250, something very crazy. Um, so I love this one, but this one was my favorite to this day. And I love the fact that I can hide this on a shelf and just display it like this. And after fall, I usually display my village um, and light it up every night. So in the month of August or September, you will see that I made like a little Halloween village and I just decorate it with orange leaves. I'm gonna show it light up after I open the last burrow that I added to my collection. The third burrow that I added to my collection is this Lego. Okay, so as you guys can see, the colors are beautiful. It has a lot of detail inside and uh, it might not be a super tilted because hello, still Lego, but I feel, you know, it got the tilt to it. You can actually open this side so you guys know I'm not a super avid Lego collector. I only have the castle. Um, in the past, I have shown in my collection the Night Boss, um, the Whomping Willow, and the Quidditch set that have all been stored away after we moved because being Lego pieces, they just crumbled in the moved. I didn't know how to wrap them properly, so I never displayed them again. But I saw this one on Facebook Marketplace for $50. I know it retails around $99.99. Uh, Walmart has it for like $150, but some pretty sold is probably a third-party reseller. So $100 was a little bit too much for me, but $50, I was like, you know what? It's really pretty. It's really pretty. So my husband built it for me. You can see the broom here, the little owls. I love it. I love it. Honestly, if I don't ever buy another Lego piece, this would be enough. I know there is another burrow that is um, like an older version, and this is more like the attack on the burrow. I didn't like the Bellatrix and Greyback, I think is the one that comes with it. Like, I just want to display it as the burrow. And last but not least, let's move this Lego this way, is this one. It comes with their certificate of authenticity, and it's the for exchange borrowed so i obviously went for all the department 56 pieces um i have unboxed many of them in this channel but i was curious to see how the bradford exchange borough would be i know i like the quality of the department 56 when it comes to the villages a little bit better but this will do so i'm seeing let's compare them in case you are torn trying to decide which one you want they are about the same size okay um this piece came for okay so if i put this piece oh i'm putting it wrong mm, okay so I don't, I'm not quite sure. Okay, I think I put it right there. So this piece will make it 
freaking way harder to display it on a shelf. So I'm probably just gonna put this back on my box, back on the storage and just leave it like this because this gives it a lot of height. You know, it would make, yeah, no, it would complicate things when it comes to display. But if you wanted to compare, um, I guess this one is a little bit more chunky, but they are about the same height. But this one is a little bit thinner. And I like, let me see them myself. Yeah, I like the colors of this one better. Now, this one, you cannot just go and buy it in Bradford Exchange. This one actually... Bradford exchanged the way they do their Harry Potter village, which was one of the reasons that I decided to against collecting the Bradford exchange and just went for the Harry Potter village. They release one building every single month or every three months, something like that. And you have like no control over which one do you choose. You have to like call customer service and skip or choose. I don't know. I wasn't into calling customer service for something that I'm like paying a subscription. So... I went for the Department 56 and I have no regrets. Their buildings are really pretty. I would say prettier than the Bradford Exchange ones. The Bradford Exchange ones though, it would have been nice if this one had like snow because their snow is very glittery and it looks really pretty like for Christmas wise versus Department 56 you can display it like usually um, around the year. So I um, I found it on eBay, by the way. I found it on eBay. This one, I found it on eBay as well for 75. Unfortunately, I think it's been discontinued. So people are selling it for like 125, 130 because Department 56 has retired it. So you cannot just go and find it at different Department 56 retailers unless it has been um, on sale and it's just sitting at the retailer stock. But I've seen it on eBay for like 125, 130, which is usually the normal price of their buildings versus this one i found out on ebay for 90 bucks um oh okay big distinction you need an outlet for these this one are battery operated and you would think man that sucks because you can run out of batteries but you don't have to worry about the cable mess you can put it anywhere and it will light up which is something that i like about breath for exchange versus having a mess of cables when it comes to the apartment 56 so I'm just giving you all the facts and you choose which one you'd rather collect come Christmas. I would not wait for Christmas time to start looking for these pieces because once everybody's collecting them on Christmas time, the prices just go higher because of the market. So let me show you all the books together. Honestly, buy Christmas lights or twinkling lights, put them inside this Lego and this is the winner. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm saying that I like this Lego that much, but I do. Which one do you like better? Let me know that in the comments. Which one do you have in your collection? Which one you want to add to your collection? Um, I really hope this was helpful. You guys can see the different sizes in here. Like, definitely the Lego one will take more space in your shelves. So if you're short in space, think about it. Because... I just dropped the teapot. You see, the Legos are just more delicate. And I move things around too much, which is a problem. Like, I move things around too much, so I don't like them to crumble while I'm moving them. But I'm not gluing it either, so. Okay. So, I would say the leg was the tallest. Then the Funko one. Then the Bradford Exchange one for a little bit. And then you got the Department 56. Let me light up both of these. So you can see them light up and judge for yourself which one you'd rather add. Okay, definitely watching them light up. It can, you cannot tell because of the light being on. But the Bradford Exchange one, which is this one, you can see the paint. I think they are hand painted. And maybe that's why versus the Department 56 one just looks a little bit better. So I like, once again, the Department 56 one better.
and that is it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye bye